Welcome back to Building with Mads Hardcore Edition, where we look to survive as long as possible. In today's episode, we look to stock up on mining supplies as well as adding some more farms and builds to our island. We also decide to fight a wither and spend a lot of time, and I mean a lot of time, breaking bedrock. If you want to see all of this footage live, be sure to join me on Twitch where you will get the full experience of the hardcore world. We started off episode 5 in our farm cave and I wanted to never run low on wool ever again. So I went ahead and constructed myself a fully automatic wool farm. I rebuilt my cow crusher and built a chicken farm right beside that. I was running extremely low on basic resources like iron and coal. So I went on two big mining sessions to rectify that issue. Our resources were now stacked into their barrels, which made me feel a lot more comfortable with our situation. I suddenly had the urge to go fishing. So I made myself a god tier fishing rod and went fishing off our island. While fishing, I got carried away in my thoughts and had a great idea in my head.
fisherman's hut was constructed on the island with a pier out to the ocean to host my fishing sessions. The interior would also hold all my ocean loot such as fish and other ocean treasures. I had blood on my mind next. I went into the nether and headed to our closest nether fortress and started harvesting with skeleton heads. Funny enough, I actually got two reasonably quickly, however the third one was playing hard to get. But after a little bit of arm twisting, I managed to get a skeleton to drop his head. I set up a little area beneath our island for us to have our wither fight, which was a little easy. Maybe next time I don't trap the wither. We killed our wither and grabbed the nether star and headed back up to the surface when this happened. We were saved by the totem of undying. Once I had calmed down from almost dying and losing everything, I constructed myself a beacon with the nether star we just got. For some reason, I wanted a bee farm or honey farm next. I searched a nearby area for a beehive with three bees and brought them back to my island. I crafted some beehives and then began breeding bees to fill all my hives. Once the hives were full, I constructed the honey farm which would give me honeycomb on one side and honey on the other. I bought a lot of glass for the bee farm off my villages so I could make glass bottles. I used all of my emeralds. I went back to the raid farm and AFK'd briefly to get back the emeralds I had spent. The ocean monuments we raided last episode came into use as we turned one of the monuments into our own guardian farm which didn't need to be drained.
Once the farm was complete, I AFK'd briefly and constructed a fair few ocean monument blocks. Reluctantly, I took a look inside the nether hub. I haven't really had many ideas on what block palette to use in the hub, so I took a break from that and headed up to the top of the nether and began breaking bedrock for the hub. The end result, however, was totally worth it. With the bedrock now broken and the guardian farm constructed, it's now time to wrap up episode 5. Next episode we will look at getting yet another build on the island as well as rebuilding our iron farm and exploring some 1.20 additions. And of course, maybe another farm or two. I hope you enjoyed the fifth episode of Building With Mads Hardcore Edition. And if you did, be sure to like the video and subscribe to keep up to date. And don't forget to share this around. And as always, a special thanks to my Patreons. Hope you have a wonderful day and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!